AOK -OK OneSearch makes it easy to browse, save, and share search results when looking for research sources. This video will be an overview of the search results page of AOK -OK OneSearch. You will learn how to sort search results and how to read an item's record. I will demonstrate how to access digital items and determine the availability of an item. Finally, you will learn how to save, share, and send an item in OneSearch. Once you have executed your search in AOK -OK OneSearch, you will have a list of results that will match your search terms and the filters you chose for your search. There are several options for you on the search results page. You can sort your results a few different ways, using the drop-down list in the left-hand toolbar. The default order of your search results is relevance, but other options include alphabetical by title or author, and by date, both ascending and descending. If you are interested in seeing the most recently published items that match your search, sort by date newest. You can also apply additional filters at this time from the left-hand toolbar in the results list. To view the record for an item in your list of search results, click the hyperlinked title. Depending on the type of material, i.e. book, article, etc., you will see the details of the item you have selected at the top of the page. The item's title, author or authors, and publication information will be listed. With AOK -OK OneSearch, it is easy to share items with yourself or other people. You can select Email, which will open a form where you can enter the email address you wish to send the item to, along with a space for adding a note. The Permalink option will provide you with a link that you can use at a later time to come back to this web page. You can copy and paste that link into a document, an email, or wherever you happen to be collecting your sources. Remember, do not save the URL found in the URL bar of your browser. This is not a direct link and will not return you back to the item's record. The Citation button will generate citations for your item in four different styles. You can copy the citation and paste it into your works cited or bibliography. Please remember that while these citations are normally trustworthy, it is always important to check any computer-generated citations for their accuracy. Finally, selecting Print will open a new tab with the text-only version of your item's record, which you can print or save as a PDF. Please note, this Print button is not for printing copies of the item, just the record. If the item you are viewing is available online, you may see links at the top of the record that say, Get PDF. This will open a new window with the online material. A link and the details appear in the View Online section of the record. If we have a physical copy of an item, you will be able to see the availability and where it can be found in the library. If UMBC doesn't have a physical copy of an item available, you may be able to request a copy from another Maryland University library. You will see the other libraries that have copies and their availability. If you would like to borrow a copy from another library, you can select Request from USMAI under the Get It section of the item record. This will open a request form for you to fill out. If the item isn't owned by UMBC or any other USMAI library, you can submit an ILLiad or Interlibrary Loan request. Clicking Iliad Book Request will open a new window in our interlibrary loan system. You may need to log in or create an account before you can submit your request. Please view our Using Interlibrary Loan tutorial for more help with this service. Finally, you can save both specific items and your search in AOK -OK OneSearch. To save the item, click the thumbtack icon, either from the search results page or within the item record. You do need to be logged in to save items. If the search is something that you will be revisiting, you can save the search terms and the set filters. Saving your query also allows you to receive email notifications when newly added items meet your search parameters. To save your search, you must be logged into your library account. Click the Save Query thumbtack icon at the top of the search result list and your query will be saved.
When you first save your query, a yellow banner will appear at the top of the page and there will be an option to create an alert. You can also set up alerts by going to your account favorites. Once in there, you can choose from an RSS feed or emailed alerts. And, as always, if you have questions or run into issues navigating your search results, click the Ask a Librarian button, available in OneSearch and on the library website.